What's up guys, Salah here with Ace Games TV, and we're back on the Mr. Pandaria beta and I've come across another rare mob. So this is Nalash Verdantis, I think that's how you pronounce his name, and he's in the middle of the Lake of the Stars in Dread Wastes. You'll just find him kind of in the middle on this rock. Um, he's level 90 elite, he has, uh, sorry, a level 90 rare mob, and he has a lot of HP and hits really hard. If you get hit by his mechanics, you're probably going to die. So there's a few things to watch out for. Uh, the first thing he'll do is cast Water Ball or Water Beam or something. Um, that's interruptible, but I wouldn't really recommend it unless you have multiple interrupts. He will cast it quite frequently. It's kind of his basic attack. You're just really going to have to take the damage from that most of the time. The second thing he'll do is this Rain Dance, which is an in, in, un, a non-interruptible uh, channel which will cause these water bolt or rain bolts to come down uh, you can see where they're going to land but if you get hit by them then you, it's near enough a one shot and then finally you'll do this torrent uh, he'll cast it first of all and then he'll channel it and you need to interrupt that if it's on you it's going to kill you it hits for a lot per tick so you want to make sure that's interrupted as main priority on the rain dance what we were tending to do is stun him during this just to stop him from casting it. It isn't interruptible, but it is if you CC him in some way, shape, or form. So, get the rain dance interrupted. Don't be hit by the bolts if you can't interrupt or stun him. And then just finish him off. Now, he drops some interesting things. Uh, the normal sort of bag of uh, goods. He'll drop a random blue item. I think it's 440 or 450 item level from him. As you see there, I got hit by the torrent, and it's not interrupted, so I do nearly die. Luckily, I managed to bubble in the last second. And he'll also drop a pet, which I love these kind of mobs. Uh, I love the pets and the mounts and those kind of things. He'll drop a hollow reed, which is a soulbound item when looted. And it'll teach you how to summon the Aqua Strider. Uh, that's 100% drop chance as far as I know from this guy. And his spawn times aren't confirmed yet because it's beta. He has an increased spawn rate for testing. So once this game goes live, I'll be able to camp him and figure out what his actual spawn time is. But you'll get this pet, the Aqua Strider, and it's a cool little pet, it's a water based pet. Uh, for pet battles it uses like the water ball and the heal and stuff, so it's it's pretty cool. And it looks awesome, it's a little little water strider thing. Now it doesn't run on top of the water, I tested it, I was hoping it did, but it, it doesn't. But either way it's cool. So look out for more of these videos coming soon, thanks for watching guys, see ya!